Now that Venom has been released, we can admit that the movie is missing a lot. Besides a logical plot and compelling characters, one of the biggest elephants in the room is the lack of Spider-Man. Besides a messy relationship with the MCU and Tom Holland off in London for his far from home adventure, could there actually be a logical reason Spidey was absent from the film? Well, let's take a journey and explain why the web slinger was left in the symbiote dust for Venom's solo outing. Before we swing into action, click the subscribe button and join up with us like any good symbiote would. You'll join our notification squad and be among the first to know of new Screen Rant content. Peanut Butter has Jelly, Batman has the Joker, and Venom has Spider-Man. Well, not if you saw the recent movie starring Tom Hardy. There's no Spider-Man, no Peter Parker, no Tom Holland, and the movie even goes so far as to take place on the opposite coast of the United States. While there are so many complications with Spider-Man, the MCU, and Sony's agreement with Marvel, the true answer to Spidey's absence may lie with Venom's comic book origins. For many fans, there truly is no Venom without Spider-Man. Well, long before the Venom solo movie gave Spidey the big boot, Marvel Comics was there first. They wanted to give Venom a proper introduction, a more compassionate story, and turn him into the ultimate anti-hero. And it worked. Millions of Marvel fans love the version of Venom featured in Venom, Lethal Protector, even if one of his favorite snacks is a human head. Spider-Man was featured in the comic book origins, but the events in the comic made Peter Parker look bad as he misunderstood Venom's motives and constantly tried to attack and stop Eddie Brock and his alien tagalong. Essentially, adding Spider-Man as a supporting character to Venom's story would make him look bad, and this is something Sony definitely doesn't want to do with their golden boy. The current big screen Spider-Man is proving to be one of the most successful. Spider-Man Homecoming was a massive hit, and the studios don't want to do anything to mess with his reputation. Tom Holland has already stolen the show in multiple crossover movies, but having him fall into the shadow of a much darker Venom wouldn't really be doing him any favors. Not to mention, the original Venom origin story was done very closely to the comic book version in Spider-Man 3, a crowded mess of a movie Sony probably has no intentions of reminding viewers of. There's no need to rehash the same events again, especially when they have a deeper and more compelling origin story to work with. So if Spider-Man is doing his own thing in the MCU, then why don't they just bring on a new Spider-Man for this Venom story? Well, that would be a little nutty. We already have Tom Holland's MCU Spider-Man, and a whole slew of Spideys will be introduced in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Creating a whole separate Spider-Man just for the Venom films would be confusing and probably a poor route to take. Of course, it felt weird not having the web slinger involved with Venom's actions, but when you break things down, it makes a little more sense. While the movie has plenty of flaws, the core was there to prove Venom could survive on his own and hopefully set up some kind of crossover later on down the line. Should Spider-Man have been involved in the movie? Were you feeling like something was missing while watching it? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Screen Rant here on YouTube so you can stay up to date with all of our awesome videos. Thanks for watching.